Hello, everyone. This is Akata Vesta. Thank you for joining me. I am your certified galactic astrologer. Today, we are going to talk about Aquarius season. This year, 2024, Aquarius season is very powerful with many cosmic energetic alignment that could change all our life, not only for the Aquarius natives, maybe our world too. And firstly, I will look at the general meaning of Aquarius sign. Then I will look at the significant transit during the month. First of all, we have Pluto Azimi ingress into Aquarius on the 20th January to stay here for the next 20 years, except a short period in September to November, going retrograde again into Capricorn. Then we have also the full moon in Leo on the 25th of January. On the 27th, we have another significant Uranus going direct. Uranus being the planet ruler of Aquarius. We are experiencing all planets in direct motion. So this gives us an ample period to embrace this new energy with Pluto and Uranus and the stelliums with Venus and Mercury as well going into Aquarius. We have the new moon in Aquarius on the 9th of February. But I would like to bring our attention on the next day, the 10th of February. We have the Chinese New Year. This year we have the Wood Dragon. I will make a separate video regarding this Chinese Wood Dragon New Year. I think it has significant influence on us, together with Pluto and Uranus. And the next day, on the 11th of January, we have Chiron and the North Node exact conjunct in Aries. The Node of Faith, together with Chiron, is bringing us more healing. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel for new updates. Thank you and let's begin. So Aquarius is a fixed air sign. It is associated with innovation, unconventional thinking and a desire for change. Uranus as the modern ruler of Aquarius is considered a planet of revolution, breakthroughs, and sudden change. When the sign of Aquarius and its ruler Uranus are emphasized, it brings about a transformative energy that challenges existing norms and call for reform. It is associated with a desire for progress, freedom, and individuality. People born under the sign of Aquarius, of those with a strong influence of Uranus in their birth chart, may be seen as a forward-thinking, open-minded, and inclined towards social and political change. They may be drawn to unconventional ideas and seek to break away from traditional structures in order to create some things new. The key word for Aquarius is idealization, faith, envisioning, assurance, knowledge, and originality. Without emotion, agenda, or prejudice, the water carrier exemplifies a flair for cool impartiality combined with ardent vision and scientific originality. It dislikes vulgar excesses, preferring civility, delicacy, and reasonable behavior. Somewhat indifferent to attention, modest, self-effacing, and independently minded, it brings cool reason 
to heated debate. So can be a harmonizing influence, moving attention from emotion to intellect, discussing issues that unite us. It stands for truth, fairness, social equality, and common accord. The world is a mirror of the mind. We make materially manifest what we hold in our thought. So to envision our reality requires that we concentrate thought and attention upon the vast outcome imaginable, and let faith do the rest. Constructive optimism is the only survival strategy. Once we have shaped our orientation to a clear, positive outcome, then vacillation and doubt are not to be admitted. We hold an absurd condition of mind and bring it to bear upon the matrix of potential called life. Certainty is therefore employed in its active polarity rather than passive. Aquarius chooses not to be subject to, but the creator of outer conditions. This year, with Pluto's influence, it can bring underlying power dynamics to the forefront. Issues related to control, authority, during the 15 years of Pluto in Capricorn since year 2008, and now we are entering the period of personal empowerment. Pluto is encouraging us to confront and transform deep-seated patterns. On the 20th of January, when Pluto conjuncts the Sun at zero degrees in Aquarius, opening this year Aquarius seasons, this alignment suggests a powerful merging of energies between the ego, the Sun, and the transformation of Pluto. It can indicate a time of intense focus, potential for personal growth, and a desire for change or transformations in one's life, especially related to Aquarian themes of innovation, individuality, and humanitarian pursuits. We are looking at collective evolution. Pluto's move into Aquarius may spark changes in how we approach technology, community, and our role in society. It could bring about profound shift in group consciousness, emphasizing the importance of collaboration, equality, and progress for humanity. I will leave a link below for the Pluto in Aquarius video. I hope you enjoy it too. On the 25th of January, we have full moon in Leo. It still has Pluto conjunct the Sun at zero degree in Aquarius. The Sun and Moon squaring Jupiter along with Pluto change or be destroyed. Venus, now in Capricorn, nicely trying Jupiter. Money flows nicely and sextiling Saturn and enduring energy to both money and love. At the same time, we also have Mercury approaching Mars, and a missionary delivers a final message to those controlling the rules and regulations. This full moon brings illumination and accumulation in Leo themes, such as creativity, self-expression, and individuality. Emotions are heightened, and this period could heighten the need for recognition or attentions in these areas. 
Leo is a sign associated with creativity, self-expression, and individuality. During a full moon in Leo, there may be a heightened desire for self-expression and a need to shine or be recognized for one's talents and abilities. As Leo is ruled by the Sun, representing vitality and dramatic energy, this full moon may intensify emotions and bring about a more expressive and dramatic approach to situations. The T-square of the Sun in Aquarius and Moon in Leo squaring Jupiter in Taurus, along with Pluto, the square aspect between the luminaries Sun and Moon and Jupiter, along with Pluto, can signify tensions and challenges related to expansion Jupiter and transformation Pluto. It may bring a sense of being pushed to change or transform, even if it feels uncomfortable or confrontational. This square aspect typically represents a stance dynamic that prompts action or resolution. It may imply conflicting energies between personal desires, the sun and moon, and the urge for expansion or growth in Jupiter. Tension can arise between the need for individual self-expressions as Leo and the desire for stability or material comfort in Taurus. This configuration can stimulate growth and awareness but may also lead to discomfort or confrontational situations. Navigating these energies requires introspection, finding a balance between opposing forces, and seeking constructive resolutions or transformations in affected areas in our life. Working consciously with these energies can lead to personal development and growth despite the initial challenges they may present. Venus in Capricorn trines Jupiter in Taurus and sextiling Saturn in Pisces. The Venus positions aspect with Jupiter and Saturn indicate harmonious connections between love, money, and stability. It suggests opportunities for financial growth stability and enduring relationships. There may be a sense of ease and flow in both love and financial matters. Then we have Mercury conjunct Mars as it approach Mars in Capricorn. It signifies a strong, assertive and possibly confrontational communication style. It may represent a final attempt to communicate assertively and decisively to those in authority or control regarding rules, regulations, or boundaries. All these aspects collectively portray a period of intense energies, potential transformation, and a mix of challenges and opportunities in various aspects of life. Awareness of these influences can aid in navigating these energies effectively and making the most of the opportunities presented. On the 27th of January, Uranus, after staying in retrograde since August last year, now is going direct at 19 degrees of Taurus. It will stay here for almost a whole year in 2024. Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, is associated with innovation, breakthroughs, sudden changes, and progressive thinking. In Taurus, an earth sign, 
connected to stabilities, finances, values, and material security, its influence may prompt unexpected shift or revolutions in these domains. When Urano stations direct, its themes become more prominent, and its unconventional, groundbreaking energy is amplified. People may feel a sense of restlessness or a need for freedom and change in areas related to Taurus, such as financial systems, personal values, agriculture, or the environment. As Uranus continues its direct motion, it encourages us to embrace innovation, adapt to unexpected changes and seek unique solutions to challenges that arise in our lives or within society as a whole. This period can bring about a sense of breakthroughs, awakenings, or unconventional ideas that may pave the way for progress and growth in various aspects of life influenced by Taurus themes. This Uranian energy is further emphasized on the 8th of February, when the Sun square Uranus and the Moon conjunct Pluto at zero degree in Aquarius, setting up a desire to break free. You can be accident prone, have ego conflicts, and earthquakes may manifest as well. This energy will flow into the new moon in Aquarius at 20 degree on the 9th of February. Other aspects including Mercury squaring Jupiter and Venus trying Uranus. Unexpected love, money and value. Mars sextile Neptune, inspirational dance. Jupiter sextile certain opportunities to put new structures down to support our future foreign people places might be highlighted when mercury squaring jupiter it suggests the potential for expensive or exaggerated communication it is advised to be mindful of over committing overestimating or being overly optimistic. With Venus trying Uranus, it indicates a harmonious flow of energy. This aspect could bring unexpected or exciting development in the areas of love, money, or personal values. While Mars sextile Neptune suggests a positive alignment between the planet of action and the planet of inspiration and dreams. This could be a favorable time for creative endeavors, particularly in dance or music. Another great aspect about the new moon is Jupiter sextile Saturn may bring in opportunities for growth and stabilities. It may provide a chance to build new structures and foundations that support future endeavors. The next day, on the 10th of January, we have the Chinese New Year. This year, we have Wood Dragon. It is believed to be able to foster growth, progress, and abundance. The dragon represents the rising yang qi and fast-growing life energy. This expanding qi fuels a fresh life cycle and signals a time for us to broaden our horizons. In Chinese traditions, the element of wood is known to be the element of growth, success, and initial years of development. Wood is associated 
with the direction east, seasons of spring, and planet Jupiter. This indicates a time for new start, great beginnings, hard work, and power to growth and prosperity. This combination makes the year of the wood dragon full of energy and drive, the dream of changing the world, and a good at coming up with innovative ideas and implementing them. On February 11th, we have Chiron in the North Node in exact conjunction in Aries. This is when we experience the peak of this energy. We may experience miracle healings in our own lives or begin to see a path to peace being forged on the world stage. As this alignment is happening in areas, there is likely to be a strong, passionate, and fiery power behind all of this energy, as Aries is the sign of new beginnings. It is very possible that we could see healings that then lead the way to new chapter in our life. Chiron is often associated with the wounded healer archetype. It represents the area in our lives where we may experience deep wound, but also have the potential for profound healing and growth. The North Node is associated with our life path, growth, and evolution. It indicates the direction we are moving towards in this lifetime. While Aries is a fire sign known for its assertiveness, passion, and desire for new beginnings. It is associated with the energy of initiation and taking bold steps. When Chiron and the North Node come into an exact conjunction in areas, it can be seen as a powerful alignment that emphasizes healing, growth, and new beginnings. The exact conjunction suggests a peak in energy, potentially leading to transformative and miraculous healings in various aspects. On a global scale, there may be indications of progress towards peace and resolutions of conflicts. Aries' fiery energy could contribute to a passionate and determined approach to creating positive changes. So we are closing the Aquarius seasons with Venus, Sextile Neptune, a good day to express your love, dance or singing on the 30th and 14th of February. Then on the 17th, we have Mercury squaring Uranus and Venus conjunct Pluto. Explosive words may be towards the one you love or obsess over. Intense love encounters prevail. On the 22nd of February, has Venus conjunct Mars, initiating new significant friendships as this is in Aquarius. With this exciting exchange between two people, to close off the Aquarius season. If you find this video useful and resonate, please visit my website becominglotus.org and you will find my website with a brand new design and new services. For any more information and inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact me. It is always a pleasure to be of assistance. Thank you and see you next time.